This is a tour of the typical features of a wet lab in an incubator. This particular lab is 25 foot by 25 foot square. Most of them are the same exact size. In this incubator we have the following features. We have casework on three walls. Casework here, on this wall over here, and on this wall over here. We have a six-foot fume hood that has gas, vacuum, and cold water delivered to it. And this hood is vented out through the top into a separate air handling system for all the fume hoods in the incubator, which is exhausted through the top of the building. Over on this wall in the corner, we have an emergency shower with a drain. There is internet connectivity all around the lab for easy access. We have benches and caseworks in the center of the lab. One row here and one row here. This lab is crammed pretty tight. We have equipment here. We've got a freezer cabinet in the corner here. Here we have a sink and a drying rack. The lab is has a ceiling height of 16 foot and you can see how this makes it easy to bring in services from the top and then drop them down wherever they need to be and that could be hot and cold water, gas, vacuum, power, whatever you need. This hanging unistrut system provides a platform for lighting and also power connections. Coming off of the fume hood venting system is a point exhaust which drops down right there in case exhausting needs to be brought uh, to another piece of equipment in the lab. In the corner, it's typical in most startups where an office area is created within the lab to save having to rent a separate office. This works for a while until there's too many people and the company starts to grow too rapidly. Then a separate office would be required. There's a separate temperature controller with each lab, a display for safety glasses, and also we keep safety rules and regulations posted within each lab. So this would be a typical wet lab in an incubator.